Imagine transforming your wildest creative visions into stunning reality effortlessly. Welcome to the future of digital creation. Hi, I'm Jessica with The Real AI Agents, and today I'm going to unlock the secrets of Runway, the AI tool that's revolutionizing the way creators like you and me bring our ideas to life. Whether you're an artist, designer, or just have a love of exploring the limits of your imagination, you're about to discover how this powerful tool can transform your creative process. Stay tuned as we dive into the world where your creativity knows no bounds, all with the magic of AI at your fingertips. Let's get started. Okay guys, so let's take some of these prompts and see what we can do here in Runway. So the first thing we're gonna try is to start with the text to generate our own image that will have some animation on it. So you'll see we come in here and you simply wanna put your prompt in and it does only allow for 320 characters, which isn't much on a prompt, but I have gone ahead and put one together here. So I'm just gonna grab it real quick and I'm gonna import that in there and you can see that my prompt here is animate a rocket ship launching upwards with intense speed. Start with a close-up of the engines igniting, then zoom out to show the rocket piercing through the dense clouds, leaving a trail of smoke and fire. Emphasize the rapid ascent and the dramatic breakthrough of the cloud layer. Pretty good prompt, so we'll go ahead and check that out. You can see down here that it was 277 characters out of the 320 available, so that's good. Everything is good in there, and then I'm going to hit this free preview button because it's available and what it's going to do is generate four different images here that I can choose from for the image input. Okay so I can choose any of these four images that I like for it to create the video from there. So I think as far as the movement I, I think I'm going to like this fourth one here the best but I also like the second one. So let me know in the comments if you guys would have gone with one, two, three, or four four, but I think I'm going to go ahead and choose four. So I'm going to use that as the input image here. And you can see it has some options down here. So we've got the speed, the camera motion, motion brush beta. But what I'm going to do is just go ahead and let it generate. So it's just going to take my prompt and turn it into that four second animated video. It does take a little while to generate. So I will be back with that in just a second. All right. And here we go. It has generated that video for us. So so you can see here it's four seconds. Let's just go ahead and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm not super impressed by the amount of motion that was put on that, but it is following the instructions. It is breaking through. You can see the cloud cover here moving a little bit. Um, I wish there was a little bit more movement of the actual ship itself being propelled up, but this software is constantly being upgraded and changed. So I have no doubt that in you know a few months to a year that this is going to be a super valuable tool in our toolkit as creators. You can see that it will ask us to improve the result. So I'm going to say this was probably a two video. There was just a real lack of movement. So I'm going to go ahead and send that so that they know. And then that way it will take that feedback. And next time it generates something like that, it'll say, okay, well, there wasn't enough movement on this. So we're going to alter it in some way to create more movement. So just for fun, um, I did some sign up for a month of this system so that we could play with it and kind of bring you guys some tips on how to use it and determine whether or not it's worth the investment for you right now to go ahead and do a, a premium membership on here. It was $15 for a month. There is a discount for that if you go with the year plan, but I think it was well worth $15 to get to play around with the system and see where it's at. I have 185 seconds of credits left, so I think what I'm gonna do just because I'm not huge on this one is let's go back in and let's generate a new one here. I'm gonna use the same prompt and you can see it's gonna create four new images here. Maybe we'll have more luck with something like this coming out of the clouds in this direction. So I'm gonna try number two here. Let's say use this as the input image and I'm gonna go ahead and increase this a little bit, the general motion, so that there's a higher amount of intensity on the motion for this video. So instead of five, let's go up to eight. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate again, okay? So now we've got that generated. Let's take a look and see what this one looks like. 
Okay, definitely more movement, different angle. I think that would be usable in something. I could definitely see using that four second clip for something in the future. The clouds have nice movement, not too bad. So go ahead and give this one a three. I think the render quality could be a little bit better. And I think that there could be a little bit more motion. So we'll go ahead and send that. And let's say I wanted to save this image because I'm going to use it in the future. There's a download button right here that will go ahead and just get that downloaded for you real quick. And then you can also, let's say I needed eight seconds worth of clip or six seconds worth of clip. I could go in and do this extend four seconds and it would extend this video by an additional four seconds. You can can do that up to three times. So the maximum output that you're gonna get from this system right now is going to be a 12 second video. So do keep that in mind. This isn't made for long clips or anything like that. These are short animated AI created images. Okay, so now that we've got that done, we're gonna go back and we're gonna take an image that I've already uploaded. So I'm gonna come in here to image and I'm gonna go to my assets here. And I created this rocket ship image to use already. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that in. And on this one, I'm going to, I do want um, the same quite a bit of motion in it. So I'm going to go ahead and change the general motion to eight. And then there's a feature over here in beta called motion brush. I've had a lot of fun playing around with this tool, getting to know the system. And I think it's going to be very beneficial in the future for digital creators. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. And you can see here that it says control a specific area with motion brush. Brush over an area to apply motion control specifically. You don't need to be precise. Tap anywhere to begin. Okay, so I think instead of really the rocket ship blasting off because it's so close to the top here, I think I want the movement to be in the clouds and the scenery behind the rocket ship. So I'm going to come up here to the brush size and I'm just going to increase that a little bit so I have a bigger um, work area here and I'm going to just highlight all of this. Okay, and now that should animate everything around the rocket ship that I kind of want to add some animation to. This all painted up a little bit here with the stars. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down here and you can see it has a horizontal, the x-axis, where you can move it to the left or the right. So I think we'll put a little bit of motion to the left on it. And then the vertical axis will move things up and down. I think that we will move the clouds up a little bit so we'll take that to two as well. And then the proximity is obviously going to bring it closer or further away. I think I'm gonna leave that where it is for right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And then when I come out here, there is a thing for camera motion. If you choose this, think of it as you being behind the camera and the movement that you would want to naturally take when filming that scene. So you can choose a horizontal movement to the left or right. You can choose a vertical up and down. You can zoom in and out. You you can do a roll one way or the other. Um, and there is a speed on here so you can change it. So let's say I want to slowly zoom out of this picture. I'm gonna change the speed and take it down to like a two. So we'll just set everything at two so you can see what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And then I'm gonna come over here. This is in beta, so there isn't a free preview button on this right now. So you're kind of just shooting in the dark to figure out if what you've put on there are the right settings settings or not. Um, I think that's sort of why I'm looking at this as a test thing right now, just because I'm blowing credits, just trying to play with it, get the feel for the settings right for what works for the animation that I would need on the material that I use. But let's go ahead and generate these four seconds. Okay, so we've got our four second video generated here. Let's see what it came up with. Okay, sort of a strange movement, but it did move the clouds. I probably should have put a little vertical on the actual rocket ship, but it is cool how it looks like it's drifting above the clouds in space. So I would I would say that's a four for the quality it has right now. It could maybe improve the render quality. So let's try it again. Just like we did on the other one, we're gonna bring the image in and we'll change this here. And this time, let's take the eraser and let's get this all out of the way. And this time, instead of the clouds moving, let's move the actual rocket ship. So we'll make our brush a little smaller and we'll come in and really highlight that here. And instead of doing the horizontal, let's just do vertical. 
Let's take it up to five just to show you the difference here. And we'll leave the speed on that the way it is and we'll keep it zooming out. And we'll generate four seconds of this one. Okay, so it has now generated that new image. Let's see if it's any better. Okay, I definitely think that is the way to go. Much cooler on the vertical movement there. So I'm glad we did it both ways so you can see the difference. It still gives the clouds a little bit of movement, um, almost as though they're being pulled towards the rocket ship. It's kind of cool looking. Definitely think that was worth it. So because I like this video, let's go ahead and extend it by four seconds just so we can see the quality of an eight second video. Okay, so here's the eight second version. Pretty cool. I think we could definitely use that in something in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit download and save it. And that is a quick run through of the start with image and start with text options you have on the Gen 2 Runway AI. There are a lot of other features included in um, the Runway system that we can go over at a different time. But as always, if you have a question or a topic you really want us to cover, be sure you put it in the comments comments and we really appreciate you spending some time with us today to check out the Runway AI system and decide if it's a right tool for your, your toolbox right now. Thanks for tuning in and as always keep looking towards the future.